Hello YouTubers, it is I, Trollface the Man, and today I'm going to show you a neat trick to hack almost any standard LED light into a makeshift UV light. Also, in this video I'm going to try it with an incandescent light to see just how it compares. First thing is first though, when we do this we're actually not creating any UV light at all, but instead are creating a filter to separate out a lot of visible light to help us see the UV light's effects better. Because of this, the UV light you get out of the filtered flashlight is nowhere near as powerful as if you were to actually have a specialized UV bulb. But that doesn't stop it from lighting up certain objects like Christmas lights. However, sadly, on white it doesn't work so strongly as with a regular UV. But more on that later. So what do we need? Well, in reality, all we need is some clear tape, two permanent markers, one dark purple and one dark blue, and a light to do this on. The one you probably have on your phone will do just fine and is the one I'm going to demonstrate this on. The extra lights I have here are just for fun and the highlighters are there to demonstrate the UV light properties, but they aren't actually needed to create this UV light. Alright, so to actually get started, take a small piece of clear tape and cover the light you wish to use for this completely if you're doing this on a phone, like me, make sure you only cover the light and not the camera lens. And if you're doing it on a flashlight, you might need multiple pieces of tape to cover it completely. After you put on the tape, use your blue permanent marker to completely cover the tape with blue. Over larger areas such as flashlights, this might be difficult, in which case holding the marker on a strong angle can help the ink get around, but you'll probably never get it perfect. Anyways, after that's done and dried, do another complete layer of tape and color it blue once again. After this is done, do one more layer of tape, but this time color it completely purple with the purple permanent marker. And that's it. You have a makeshift UV light. Don't believe me? Well, let me demonstrate with the highlighters. So like I said before, we're not creating any UV light. We are filtering out a lot of the visible light from the LED or light emitting diodes light spectrum. What this leaves us with is a color of light that is actually invisible to us, or certain levels of it are just verging on our seeable color spectrum. Almost like how we can't hear sounds that are too high, like a dog's whistle, or too low, like infrasounds, we can't see color waves that are too high a frequency, like UVs, or too low, like infrared. So the reason why UV light makes things glow isn't actually that it's any brighter in that location than anywhere else in the vicinity, it's just that it's the only light that you can visibly perceive as light. The reason those items appear to glow is because they contain things known as phosphors, when UV light interacts with phosphors, it loses energy in the form of heat. That loss of energy slows down the frequency of UV waves enough to push them into the visible light spectrum and voila, perceivable light. This light makes the object seem to glow intensely, though in reality it's not as bright as the UV light all around it. But we don't see this extremely bright UV light, so we don't care. It looks cool and that's what matters. So the only problem with the UV filter on the phone is the phone's LED can get hot and melt through the tape. If you do use it, use it sparingly, and for maybe only a minute at a time. It shouldn't catch fire or nothing, but if it melts you have to replace it, which is a pain. Anyways, I'll repeat this process with an incandescent flashlight, which uses a standard filament and another stronger LED flashlight. First up, the incandescent flashlight. Hmm, not as powerful as I had hoped, but it still has a slight effect. Next, the stronger LED headset, which works very good indeed.
And lastly, my phone's light, which works almost as well. Now a comparison of all three together. All work, but the stronger LED headset worked the best. And I found one last good use for it. Turning yourself into a freakish human display by pointing the light down at your face and standing in the corner of a dark room. Let me tell you one thing, I wouldn't want to see someone standing there like that at night. It also made for some interesting photos. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, if you like the video, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. It means a lot to me and helps me continue to make content like this. Thank you guys, and bye!